What's up YouTube and WordPress community? Today we are talking about the automation of website SEO. There are so many opinions and mixed emotions around SEO and how you should set up your website and what strategies you must use in order to appear in Google search results. However, one thing is for sure, while setting up your website there are certain SEO parameters that you must follow and in today's tutorial I'm going to review my personal favorite uh, SEO plugin that will help you with default parameters of SEO and website SEO which is a very important aspect and automation is great because automating your website SEO parameters will help you to concentrate on the value of your blog and content that you are putting out. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the plugin is called Slim SEO and Slim by no means refers to its functionalities, I'm telling you guys. Uh, however, what it can refer to is that this plugin is super lightweight, minimal configurations. Uh, you can check out its website to see the main features. However, without wasting your time, I want to move to the dashboard and review the plugin together. So I will quickly show you how to install and activate the plugin. So you need to go to plugins, click on add new and right here let's search Slim SEO. Great, so let's install the plugin right here. It's the first, it has 20,000 active installations, which is great. Uh, it has five star reviews, like mostly five star reviews, which speaks about it being a good and trusted plugin. Click on it and we are in the general settings in the features of the Slim SEO plugin. So as you can see in the general features section, the plugin auto-generates, automates your meta titles, meta description, um, meta robots. We will concentrate on some of these features uh, and the rest you can explore yourself. So what I want to mention here is that you can just simply automate all these features and all these SEO efforts by just one switch literally just switch and it has everything on by default everything that you need um, however you can decide all the configurations right here in the features section i want to speak about uh, several features functionalities that i find very useful um, while working with this plugin uh, which is the open graph uh, the canonical url and rss feed so basically what Open Graph uh, functionality tags does for you is boost your social media um, SEO and social media efforts. So this is a function that generates meta tags in your HTML so that uh, when the crawler goes through the content every time you want to do a Facebook post, repost or a Twitter post, it automatically takes the structured data such as description and the title, thumbnail image of your content and provides uh, the crawlers with all that information. So the next feature that I really appreciate in the plugin is the canonical URL. So which is what is canonical URL? Basically, canonical URLs are those uh, which Google thinks are the most representative uh, from a set of duplicate pages. For example, if you have URL for the same page, two different URLs, canonical URL set the one that is official and with this plugin you can do it in automation without any codes and any headaches basically. And RSS feed is a function that is incredible for your SEO efforts, basically like copyright and copied content like plagiarized content, we know that Google doesn't accept of it and if you put out content that is valuable, your content can be copied and it is, of course, you are the source, but anyways, it is bad to have duplicated content. So what RSS feed does, basically, it lets you know that there is someone out there that is using your content 
and automatically adds backlink that is referring to the original source, which is your content. This, I think, is a mind-blowing feature. It will help your SEO efforts so much and you can uh, define the cheaters and the ones who plagiarize your content. Uh, so this is it about the features section and the next section is our code section where uh, you can uh, set, uh, insert your code from Google Tag, Google Analytics or any other webmaster tool and insert it into three main parts of your website which is of course the header, the body and the footer. Uh, the codes needs to be inserted in this relevant fields. And the next tab is our social tab. Here we have, uh, so what we have here is um, default social images. So not all your posts have featured images, of course. As I've already mentioned, if your post has a featured image, uh, the feature right here, which was open graph, we will automatically detect it and put it in the uh, repost. However, if you do not have a featured image, here you can set a default featured image for your Facebook posts and Twitter posts. This will make your uh, social SEO and marketing campaigns even more effective and faster, which is the most important part. And uh, you can also insert analytics into your dashboard by uh, using your um, the Facebook app ID that um, you are watching your analytics by and the Twitter site as well. So this was it about the social tabs. And then here we have the tools. Here you can migrate your SEO da data from any other SEO tool that you are using. Here we have Yoast SEO as a recommendation. Be very attentive to the note that the plugin owner says, which is to back up your site before migrating. So our next tab that I want us to look into is the redirection tab. So um, it is very important to be able to redirect your uh, clients, customers or users if there are some broken links or links that are no longer available, valid, that are moved. So in the redirect section, you can do that. What I want to mention is that with Slim SEO, you get this function completely free, whereas for many others SEO uh, plugins um, alike, this functionality is completely, uh, like it's paid, so it's not in the free version. So here, basically what you need to do is uh, you have to apply your redirect type uh, here we have several redirect types and choose the action that you want to do and just click on apply and in the settings section um, here we have a very important function which is the 401 logs which again is in the free version completely free so you uh, whenever you switch this on um, it will automatically delay delete all the database uh, that is in the 404 log section, like under the category of a 404 log. And uh, you can choose which of them you want you want to delete, like whether it is older than a month or a week, or you can just simply uh, redirect those uh, pages into another source instead of deleting. So this was it about the redirection section. And lastly, I want to pay attention to uh, the pro plan that uh, this plugin offers. So um, there are two functionalities that are paid in the plugin, which is the link manager and schema, uh, schema tabs. So those are in play pants, but the pricing is pretty affordable. And let's just quickly look into those and see what they are doing. So let's go to the link manager tab first of all. Here you can see all your internal and external linking reports, which is another great functionality. And uh, here you can review all the links, you can review the top keywords, your link status, which links are available, which are already in a 404 log, for example, and uh, your top linked pages, um, top external links. And by just this data, by just going through all this data, you can visualize everything and just make a plan for better linking strategies. 
and here in the tools you can uh, scan uh, links in all your posts or uh, remove e existing link data and uh, this is a great functionality that you can have in one plugin which is also very essential like it is be better to pay uh, a very small amount I can tell for the functionality that they offer and to have everything in one um, plugin than to install hundreds of you know other plugins for each and every functionality so this is about the link manager so what are schemas? When you add structured data to your product page, Google search, including the Google image and Google lens, take that data and include it into the information and make it look in a richer way. I'm sure that you have seen when you search a certain product, um, at the end of the website link and the snippet, which is the meta description, you see that it has also the reviews displayed and the pricing displayed. And in most cases, it is also a very good marketing like tactic strategy to include the availability, especially if the product is available in limited quantities. So uh, these are all made with schemas and what Slim SEO does. So it automatically displays all this information and this is not about the products only. We will look into it in a minute. So displays this information and you do not even have to write a single line of code. If you are not a developer, you can still make it work somehow. And the most important aspect is the automation so that every time you have a product page, it will just automatically take all this information that you want to display in the Google search results and just show it to the world. Quickly check out the schema tab. Here you need to click on add schema and you can see that uh, we have different uh, types, for example, for product. We have already mentioned that here. You can see all the properties and uh, you can choose the location type. And if you do not find the exact property, you can always add a new one, add new property. And if you do not, um, I wanted to mention also that this is not only for like products, but you can add it for FAQs, articles, like how-to articles, tutorials and stuff. And if you do not find the exact property here, you can um, add reviews, logos, we have the manufacturer and um, the height, I don't know, everything that, the weight of the product, everything that you might need. And you can also custom made it. So a very detailed customization, in fact. Now let's take a quick look on how the plugin works uh, in the certain posts. So for that, open one of your posts. I've already opened one right here in the end, all the way at the end of the post, you have all the configurations for a certain post. So the schema, once again, you can change that uh, right here. And the search engine optimization, it gives you the meta title, meta description. Uh, you can change the Facebook image, Twitter image, if you do not want uh, to include like featured image in the reposts. And it also gives you like recommended length and recommended uh, count for meta description. So this was it about the posts, literally just everything that you need. In the external section, you can see all the links, uh, external links included in the article and in the internal inbound section, you can see all the links. Here you can see that there are no links found, but if you uh, do internal linking, all the links will, will be like mentioned um, in, the, uh, in this section right here. So this was it about the posts. So this was it for our today's tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you think about the plugin. If you have any questions, do not hesitate and leave everything in the comments down below. Also, do not forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell and see you in the next video. Bye!